Hello boys and girls, welcome to another episode of the Subaru Ice Racing Project. A little heads up on this one, it's a, it's longer than usual. It's because there's a lot of talking involved in this one. It could be boring, but I decided to include everything that we recorded. And that includes pretty much getting ready for a swap for, for a different transmission and a rear diff. Because as some of you may know, we do have issues with the center diff, which is garbage at this point. But we get to the bottom of it, how and why it, it broke. Some of you may be doing a swap from an older Subaru. This is going to be a 98 to 99, could even be 2000, not sure, but definitely 98, 99 Legacy GT transmission and diff. We're going to fit that in into the 06 Impreza 2.5. So stay tuned for that. So as always, like, subscribe. We do need subscribers, as you can see, sitting on, what, 600 something? As soon as we're done with this car, we're going ice racing, then quite possibly rally cross, and then come spring, summertime, it's going to get autocrossed on pavement. And then maybe we're going to do all kinds of modifications uh, weight reductions and whatnot. Remember, everything is, is as cheap as possible. And we might even uh, take it to a track day. We'll see. It's going to be slow, but still. So thanks in advance and enjoy the video. All right, guys. After pondering on what this is, these pieces here, what it used to be, these we know that was that big C-clip that held on the actual diff plates in right here it would be the, the very last thing that, would that you would install to hold this in place but then what is this at first we thought this is pieces of, of gears because we had you know missing teeth like this chipped off teeth on both uh, gears in this uh, last case so on that basis we took apart the transmission now we went through all the gears on this part of the transmission and these are good pinion ring gear everything looks good it's actually not even that dirty just uh, apart from oil being uh, having a few tiny tiny metal particles but no chunks at all in this part of the case. So nothing got stuck in any oil passages, nothing. This is all clean. You can here see. No chips. Every single tooth is intact. No overheating signs or on the races from bearings. I'm going to show you how these gears work here are your gear selectors okay there's three and basically as you switch gears with this guy here it this goes in out and then turns well not you know twists slightly as you move the gear lever left or right to select either reverse fifth one or uh, or second and that's this guy here right Wait, can you see? So this guy, I won't be able to move this probably. Okay, a little bit. So this is side to side, right? There are springs inside there. And then this will move up and down like that. So that's your main shift gear selector. So this part, this guy would sit right in here right there so right now all of these are lined up one two three and I'm gonna turn so this shaft is the main shaft coming out of the engine let's say right that's your uh, power here so right now although this turns this is still neutral because all I gotta do just hold it in place see I can still spin the this shaft so ever wonder why wheels if the car is lifted and even the if the car is in neutral on manuals the car is in neutral but the wheels still spin this is why 
because this still spins as you can see freely although I can still you know hold it in place if I let go it will spin anyways so let's say I'm gonna start with reverse I'm gonna move this lever this way is that reverse I think that's reverse let's try move this forward This might be fifth, I'm not sure actually. So now I gotta take it back to neutral. Let's push this one in, for example. There. See how slow, much slower this? Yeah, so that was fifth. So this is, if that's reverse, fifth, fourth, third, first, second. So this is second. So I gotta spin this much quicker to make this move. So if I move this back, come on now, it's not easy. I'm still not in gear. This could be seconds. Yeah, that must have been second. And then you move this center lever back and forth. This just means that it's not in gear all the way. It also helps to have the case on, so all of this is not loose. Anyway, well, when we were driving the car, oh, man, my fingers, uh, all the gears were going in with no issues at all. I mean, you know, it's on the, the previous episodes. So that's more or less how manual transmissions work. Basically, these guys here are synchronizers also. The way they work is that you have that, these extra plates inside here. So this is, this is it right here. One more there. So you got two on each side here. There's one on that side. Same thing on here, and then one here. If I were to choose... What gear is that? I can't spin this. Maybe I can. See, watch this shaft here. See, it spins slower now. I'm just gonna spin it back and forth. It's just easier. It started spinning much faster. Now it's in. Slower. Faster. As soon as you start even pushing on this, this this will kind of pre-select. Well, not pre-select, but uh, see now it wants to go in gear. Well, I don't want it to. It will push on the gear next to it and kind of rev match your speed it will start spinning the shaft or the gear you're about to select before the gear even is in. That's why you don't need to kind of match your, you know, rev up the engine to put a gear in, like in semi trucks, for example. Semi trucks will not have these. So that's it. That's basically more or less how this works. To take this this shaft, I can just lift off, lift up, this will come off, and to remove like these forks here, there are pins inside, you gotta knock them out, and these selectors will come out, then you can remove this guy, all these, and then it's just a bunch of pressing out and then bearings, gears, and whatever, if, if you were to do a full service on it, you would be replacing all these different uh, bearings. All right, so now I'm gonna show you what went on. What we suspect is the issue here. So this we know that's the broken C-clip or sear clip, whatever, however you wanna call that. So the differential, this is what came out there. This is sealed inside these plates. That's your actual diff, that's your LSD. 
There's a bunch of them, as you can see, they're all glued together with this silicon smelly stuff. Then this will apart go apart. You got more, I just didn't put all these back together. It's just time consuming, there's no point. This is, I mean, this should be, you know, more oily looking color, not black. So this is burnt. This heated up, oil turned black. And these spider gears, come on now. This one turns freely, but these teeth on it are slightly actually chipped off. So not slightly, but you know, this is, this is garbage. This one, although it's got less damage on the teeth, it will not turn. So something happened to this guy. And here there's damage here. You got, it's got some sharp edges here and there. So, so the mystery, what is this? And there's a, you know, bunch of little pieces. So this was a kind of a clip, I guess. We, I can't, uh, you know, I don't take these apart on a daily basis. So don't quote me on names or whatever that this, but this used to be some kind of a clip. I, at first I thought it was a washer, but this used to be a clip where it would go right here. That's where it used to be. And it used to be on the outside. Imagine this being in here, like that, and you got space right here, right? Okay, so now this actually can spin. That, that clip was right in between the spider gear and kind of at the body of the diff, right, on both sides. So what we think happened was the rear wheels most likely were being dragged or uh, we're on the, on the road, the front was lifted after the accident, the tow truck was like, whatever, you know, let's work for me, this is junk anyways, he saw the the car, the, if you're watching this video first time, uh, there is a picture in the episode one, how this car was actually damaged, it was front uh, passenger side, so going back to the tow truck, tow truck guy, he said, F it, so instead of uh, lifting the whole car, he just dragged it. Basically, that's what destroyed this diff. This just pretty much exploded, forced out the clip. And all these, all these were in this casing right here. You can see still more parts right over here. So none of this actually got through to the transmission, which is good news. A diff like this is about $600 at the dealer and a bunch of bearings, whatever, would, wouldn't make sense to not change these bearings. So you could just get a diff, get these two shafts with the broken teeth, right? There's two of them. Uh, press in new bearings. Just the end of the, the uh, you know, this the second part, the end of the transmission. Put it all back together and it would be good, you know. But Luke actually went to get a transmission he's had for some time now. And it's from a 98 or a 99 Legacy. And the rear diff is also different um, because the gears are different in the transmission. We would need to change the rear diff as well. And he's got that also. So he's going to bring that. I'm going to put this one back together. I'm not, I'm not going to be torquing anything or sealing up or whatever. Just slap it all back together so it doesn't, you know, these bigger parts don't get lost. All the bolts, it's all going to go back. I'm going to put it aside and inspect the new old transmission. All right, guys, so this one is back together. And we do have a replacement from a 98 older model. Where's the diff? Inside? We got a diff. Yeah, I put it back inside. Oh, good. We might keep it for a wheel drive. Uh, yeah, we might actually keep that tr transmission for uh, rear wheel drive. We're gonna, we can weld the diff. Anyways, so these gotta come out so we can test fit the CV axles. Um, so yeah, without, see the 
original axles, they, there's a pinhole here. That's how the axles attach through a pinhole. The oil was fine on this. We did drain the oil. Looks good. This mount got to go. These look oh, identical. The same. Same colors even. Cool. Same colors. All right. So these will stay. I don't know what that wire is for. Maybe it was... Uh, oh, I know what that might have been. Because this is the same as a uh, STI, I think, an 95 STI uh, case. Okay. And an STI has a DCCD in 5-speed. Oh, yeah, maybe. Okay. But I don't know. I'm just making right. it up. You're just making things up? Yeah. All right. On the fly. Uh, the, the slave cylinder, well, slightly different, but uh, as long as the mounting is the same, we can reuse that one. We're going to check on that later. Gear oh, yeah, this is gear, gear ratio 411. That's why we need to change the rear diff. Speed sensor, this guy here, different wiring. Okay. We're going to undo this one. We got three wires on the, the, you know, this transmission, two wires on this one, so I don't know. So next step for us is to take these out and uh, test fit the CV axles. It should be fine. I mean, Subaru doesn't change things often. It's yeah. like, you know, Honda Civics and Ford it's Focuses. Like it's from here. There you go. Transmission with All the right. slave cylinder. Slave will work. That's what we need. Oh yeah, actually, we need, we need to still check all the attachments for the, the fork, the shifter, shifting fork thingy, throat bearing. See if that's gonna fit. Loose. We need a sleeve. Oh, it's weird. This, yeah, yeah, this is worn. But maybe it doesn't come out like that too far. Okay, so this shaft is worn right over here. And I think there is a fix. You put a, a yeah, diff there is different different bearing and a sh and a sleeve over it. Yeah, like a sleeve. So that may be a problem. Okay, so that's number two that we need to figure out. Next day, boys, next day, this is the legacy transmission. It seems like it's it's going to fit. Still got to take these out. But we're going to try to take the front diff. We're going to take this apart, is what I'm saying. Because we only have gear one and two. This will not twist this way it will this way but one that way it's stuck so we're missing one and two that's where we're gonna take this apart and see what's going on could be an easy fix update so we took the very uh, rear part out everything looks good the diff is nice and clean that's the clip that disintegrated in the uh, other transmission no that's a different clip well but well that's that one is a spring clip this one is whatever solid same one. and i think the subaru updated this one on the newer diffs so this is a 98 99 uh so this is just a c-clip well it's similar it's different but it's similar so in the other one what happened was as it was dragged by this uh genius tow truck driver this is what was missing in the other one those big chunks, that's these guys here. These are, this is the spider gear. And this on both sides was missing basically. So anyway, so that that's that. So uh, in between the case and the spider gears, there are these, I don't know, column washers. So this is good. All the gears look good. We're not even gonna worry about the uh, any of the bearings because we would have to adjust stuff and whatever. And we went through all the gears on this one, and we do have one and two, which is this guy here. So it's actually pretty clean inside. We're gonna take this, scrape this gasket off, get a new one. We took these out for no reason. So Lucas is gonna put these back now. And the problem lays with this guy here. This is, this is your lever that goes outside. This goes right in here. And we were having issues it would not go slide this way we would have reverse and fifth third and fourth but no first and second okay so it would just not twist that was the main issue so this is on the outside of the box 
okay this goes in here actually like this way this piece slides onto this shaft and this guy goes in here right and this is what uh, springs back this is the, the spring that uh, makes your gear stick stay in the middle as you can see it's not in the middle well as you look at it like that it will push in this way but it will not this way anymore so we're gonna take this apart there's a C clip here see what it's what's inside and if uh, this is not gonna work out then we may end up taking the other one out and try and see if it fits in here or just we're gonna have to buy a new one basically that's you know that's probably what's gonna happen okay a little update I did take this apart there is a C clip all of this comes out there are two springs inside one big one and the tall one so neutral fifth reverse or neutral and also third and fourth and then first and second this will have to be spring loaded because as you look on the uh, old one or the 06 there's no play you know to go to fifth and reverse or second and third and first and second there's no play at all this part of the housing is different this this guy is over here on the 98 uh, date you do have to take the the middle case off to get to the shifter take that out and here here it is then uh, two screws one 14 here two tens here and then uh, from the inside you can kind of push it out right you push it out and this is it so you see the difference see how this one is in the middle and this one is not like there's stuff missing or it should be at least you know pushed in this way we could just use this one but we you know we kind of worry that this because okay this and this these two stay in here right this one is from this one and this one is from this one this slides as you you know try and select move the gear lever up or down and so this thing slides back and forth and this one is much wider than this guy as you can see and we worry that if we're gonna I mean they are almost identical if we were to use this one or this one on the 98 then this sliding it's not so easy you have to trim this down a tiny bit and widen it. yeah most likely widen it so this as you can see as you you know select one or whatever gear you want this will slide out right almost out of it so this the length of this ensures that you're staying you know doesn't slip out on this one and it could and you may not be able to push it in to this groove right? groove whatever and then you know go back come back to neutral so this could be a problem and we can't use this shifter because it's totally different this one works like that you know totally different so yeah so we're going to figure this out and uh, we're going to do another update okay so this is a 90 9 2000 RS that's how these this mechanism looks like inside so what we're gonna do we're gonna kind of risk it what I talked about just now so this is the 06 that's already in fits right in and now you can see see it's going back on its own and then we gotta hold this in okay See, that's the spring working this way and that's the other way so this is this is good it should stay in there we're gonna put this back together test it see if, if this guy here will stay in there that's that's the worry if this guy will stay in here okay so while Lucas is torquing down the transmission which is 12 mil bolts go 
18, or where I'll just do 19 foot pounds of torque, plus or minus 1.4, so we can just do 19, and then uh, the 14, I know it just says 10 mil, but uh, it's really the 14 mil bolt. bolts go at 29. And I have been working on this part of the shifter, so this goes in and slides more easily. Okay, so I'm probably going to do a little bit more filing with this little file here. I mean, if you ask me, this is probably okay, but just to be safe, a little bit more. And I also rounded up the edges. Tiny bit. Here we got a clean case. That's it for this one. Thanks for watching. See you soon.